People try to solve the riddle of the depression in a hundred different ways. The new premier of Quebec, Maurice Duplessis, believes one answer lies in a return to the countryside. The government must recognize in its legislation that the province of Quebec has always been and must always be essentially agricultural. the land movements are already popular across the country when Duplessis takes office in 1936. During the 1930s in Quebec, 50,000 people flee urban unemployment and head north to farm the stingy soil of the province's rocky shield. Duplessis is most popular in rural areas and he starts pulling money out of the urban centers. Irène Duhamel is a teenager living in St. Hyacinth, Quebec, a city that voted against Duplessis and is now $5 million poorer. One day, a colonization agent came to the house and offered us land in Abitibi. For sure we wanted land, just not in Abitibi. The 18-year-old has been robbed of an education by the Depression, but she continues learning with her church youth group. It was a way of channeling my energy. It taught me there was life beyond Saint-Hyacinthe. Duhamel organizes a field trip to Quebec City to demand the new premier offer the same subsidies to education as he has for colonization. I was very impressed. I was so proud of being there. He called us my dear, dear children. But in any event, the meeting didn't last long maybe a few minutes. Duplessis listened kindly and then he said in a definitive tone, No. And then he added for the workers, their salvation will be in heaven. Duplessis' grip on his province is becoming tighter. And saxophone player Myron Sutton is suddenly out of a job. Duplessis sent two guys down to Rockheads, and that's when Rockheads was going great. And they told Rockhead they were his new partners. And Rockhead said, no way, nobody's going to tell me what to do. Well, they took his license. Rufus Rockhead is an enemy of Duplessis and the owner of a popular nightclub. The licenses of Negroes, Jews, and Chinese were canceled at the same time. Whoosh. Just like that. 1937 brings in the Padlock Law, the notorious bill that allows the Quebec government to shut down newspapers, labor groups, and religious organizations. The provincial legislation contravenes the laws of Canada, and Duplessis knows it. But if Mackenzie King censures Duplessis, he might upset Quebec and the delicate balance he has worked so hard to maintain. 
so he does nothing.